Hey, what's up, people? Mr. Bob, right here. Welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 2 Bottom X on the PlayStation 3, guys. So, we are finally here in Sin's Yen Sid's tower or house or I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looks like a tower to me, but it could be his house as well. But yeah, we gotta have to read the book. In order to understand everything, the beginning, the intrudes, and the future stories. Let's start with the beginning. Let's see, rise to chance encounters, each encounter brings forth a farewell. Farewell leads to a journey, worlds open their hearts. You can read it, guys, I'll just, you know, just read some of the sentences. She shows him by the light, those enshrined by darkness, who share the same bonds, their paths made different. Without the path toward thus far, land your hell is lost to you, the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Hmm. It's almost like how we started our journey, close. Interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell, hanging the air in that world between. What is reality? What is solution? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. Caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gazing you to other steps. All confusions will come. Yeah, that kind of sounds like Castle Oblivion, Chain of Memories. And then the future story. They will come, the battle born of confusion will end, different things to different people. Can the reality be switched is hidden? The reason is a mere existence. Still, memories can be deleted. Be not afraid. Your body to smoothing ways of your memories. Your feeling rest will be open and everything will be done. So yeah, this is kind of the present day of Kingdom Hearts 2. So, we are done reading. Talk to Yang Sin. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <coughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, 
The being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of Dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora, you sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> All right, let me get this trench chest over here. Yay. And I think that's all we collected, right? I think for sure. No, we're still missing one more. Ah, oh, okay, I guess this is connected to Twilight Town as well. All right. Well, I collected all the maps, all right. Yeah, I guess... Uh, probably for sure I have to go back to Twilight Town to do it. But let's go on ahead to the fairies. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is, or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah! Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Ah, oh, 
Would you just decide? <gasps> oh. oh, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh, my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Two Keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> the garments also have other powers. You'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! So uh, yeah, we finally have the Drive Gauge Command. So we could finally transform to have two Keyblades. But of course, depending on your drive, you also lose one party member, which could be Don or Goofy, or even both. Just like Vader form is, once you use it, you do not have Goofy with you. Because you're using the Drive form for him. But of course you still have Donald, but of course, like I said, Goofy is not with you because you're using the Vader form. So, yes, we're finally with our clothes. Oh, Mishro Stone, nice. Um, a lot of these, like Windows guys, they're basically giving you a sentence or a description on the Vader forms. I mean, a lot of them, they give you like... Like this one, utilizing your magic to fulfill flows into your mind. That's wisdom form. That's the other form that we're gonna get. Obtaining old powers flows into your mind. I think that's limit form. Because old powers, that means like our old abilities. Uh, over here, possesses all ability flows in your mind. That's probably master form. Like key ability, unleashing ultimate power flows into your mind. That's the final form. And then this one, overcome by the power of darkness flows into your mind. That's anti-form. So yeah, so everything goes in order. So you, you basically go with Valor, Wisdom, Limit, fi uh, Master, Final, and Anti-Form. So let's go talk to Yen Sid. So yeah, it's pretty awesome to find every single form. Ooh. Uh, Sora, I think you dropped something. What did I drop? You must have fallen out of your pocket. Huh, puzzle piece? Is this a gift? Anything about that? You find it in your pocket it must have something to do with your adventure. Come across in your journey. Make sure to know them in my journal. So yes, this is puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some can be accessed after learning certain ability. You can view collected pieces in Germany's journal. Now what they mean by that is that you need your growth abilities in order to get certain puzzle pieces because some are very high up while other ones are very hard to get but yeah with Vader form you have different abilities and different actions that you normally do not have with Sora by himself 
But of course, advancing from abilities by leveling up a form, these abilities can be used even out of their particular form. So yeah, you can learn like a lot of different abilities with regular and all the other forms, but you have to level them up in order for to get those certain type of abilities. So yeah, when we enter to the form, we get a second weapon, a second keyblade, and it require abilities and strength from both weapons. So that's pretty damn awesome. But also you could just come back here to the journal guys to give you tips and understanding what to do. So for Inosaurus, select Sora, select a form and select a weapon to equip as a sub weapon. So you can have two keyblades but you gotta make sure that you equip it to you know Valor, Wisdom, Final, all of that. But of course you cannot switch it because you can't do it. Like I really do want to use a Star Seeker but we can because you can have exchange both of them like side to side. So yeah, that's really you can't do nothing. But also the puzzle pieces. And you go over here, pieces. And they already tells you on there's only one. But come back to it guys, because it is very useful because once you go over here to puzzle pieces, go to puzzle mode, and the very first time we got the awakening piece. You know, collect all pieces and solve the puzzle. Search carefully for puzzle pieces scattered throughout the world. Find a place that you can't reach. Come back later when Sora has to develop new powers. So, yeah, if you remember this one, guys, you know what kind of picture it is, then you'll probably understand. But all these puzzle pieces are basically pictures when you finish the whole game. But that's all it does. But you also get prizes once you finish with the like with all the pieces here. Like for all the awakening pieces. There's still more to come. But they're probably gonna take a while to do. Because we need to learn the growth abilities. Which is right over here to Valor. We have to increase our growth in order to help out ourselves to get some certain puzzle pieces that are very hard to get so that's why they tell you like oh you can get certain abilities outside besides your Valor form or whatever forms you have so it's very important for you guys to upgrade your forms because it could really help you out in the end and of course experience boost nice and I think that's about it that's all I can say also your status as well as well and of course the way to level up Vader form is how many hits you take on with a certain nobody or heartless but like it says each attack dealt to to the enemy in Vader form one point of experience gain so every hit you do is always an extra experience just one but you have to hit 80 times in order to level up your form and it's very easy but it all depends on you know where you level up and how to make sure your drive form doesn't run out all right but there's a secret to it but we'll get into it let's just go to yen sin for now So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. 
How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the heartless and the nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How gets that far? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Lutzen! We sure do appreciate the help. My goodness, what's that? <gasps> Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Malepa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? <gasps> Goodness, oh, no. no, no. Oh, well, this is never Harry. shall we Harry. Oh, oh. Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. <laughs> Howdy, Sora. How you doing? It's your favorite gummy engineers here, ready for duty. Chip and Dale. Only one? That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. So yeah, this is last day to find a gummy shoe from Koshin. So yes, you could finally. It's much better than Kingdom Hearts 1. You could just fight anywhere. <laughs> like before, where you have to use an analog stick to travel between worlds. Uh, can we go back to Twilight Town? Huh? You want to go back to Twilight Town? Come on, we gotta get moving ahead. Huh? You wow, you cannot go back to Twilight Town, then. Ooh, goody. But. I guess it looks like I'll just end the episode here guys because it's already close to the 30 minute mark. But I did want to go back to Twilight Town if it was possible but it looks like we can. So you could say which is I think for every Kingdom Hearts. I'm not sure Kingdom Hearts won did it. I kinda don't remember but let me just save and I guess we'll call it for today. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll save it down here. 
so I could do like another playthrough of it, but like for a live stream, of course. But make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys, for more Kingdom Hearts videos as well. Share with some of your friends because I'm going to do every single thing I can in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Keep on playing, game for life, guys. See you later.